you are listening to KS3 podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about earth getting a black box source for the content is livia alback ripcast article for the new york times in a remote part of australia a steel bolt about the size of a school bus will record the earth's warming weather patterns it will listen to what we say and do it will create an archive that could be critical to piecing together the missteps its creators say should humanity be destroyed by climate change the vault known as earth's black box will be constructed in tasmania an australian island state off the south coast it will operate much like a plane's flight recorder which records an aircraft's final moments before crashing but the makers of this new black box including data researchers from the university of tasmania artists and architects say they hope it won't have to be opened many questions remain such as where the earth really needs a black box and how future generations will decipher it kurt has said the box would be designed to hold our leaders to account he added if civilization does crash this box will survive with a completely objective data story climate change is one of the gravest threats humanity faces scientists say it is exacerbating economic and health inequalities increasing the frequency and intensity of natural disasters and the united nations has warned threatens the world's food supply In November, negotiators at the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow, Scotland, reached a consensus that all countries had to act more swiftly to prevent a catastrophic rise in world temperatures. Scientists have warned that if they rise beyond a threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit, the risk of disasters like water shortages, deadly heat waves, and ecosystem collapse will grow immensely. Remember the world has already warmed by 1.1 degrees Celsius. The project is not alone in its attempt to jolt humans out of what the creators suggest is short-term thinking about global warming. It is not the first to try to salvage pieces of human civilization for posterity. Scientists have built repositories for everything from essential food crops to glacier ice to frozen animal embryos, some of them already extinct. Others have tried to hide our nuclear waste so that future generations can avoid the deadly toxic material. The boxes creator said will record leaders actions or inaction by scraping the internet for keywords relating to climate change from newspapers, social media and peer reviewed journals. It will collect daily metrics including average oceanic and land temperatures, atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration and biodiversity loss. The vault, a 33-foot long box made of 3-inch thick steel, is not expected to be completed until the middle of next year. But creators say they have already begun to gather information. Eventually, the data will be stored on a giant automated solar-powered hard drive with the capacity to collect information for about 50 years. Tasmania was chosen for its relative geopolitical and environmental safety and the monolith will be designed to be resilient against threats including cyclones, earthquakes and with its sloped walls attacks by vandals. David Mitson, general manager of local council overseeing much of Tasmania's rugged west coast where the box will be constructed, said the response from residents to the project had been largely positive. there has been a lot of curiosity and interest around the box bitson said adding that though permits were yet to be approved he was optimistic so that's it for this podcast thank you so much for listening to join ksg in their courses and to crack the ice exam visit ksgindia.com you can also get a pdf of this podcast on ksgindia.com